everybody and uh, welcome to my second instalment uh, in the Excel hack series. Uh, thanks for all your comments from last week. Uh, I've just got a couple that I want to uh, to, to, to talk about. Uh, the first one is from uh, Valanda Girl who pointed out that some add-ins will stop the F4 hack that I showed in last week from working. Uh, luckily there's a workaround and Control y actually works with exactly the same effect. So if you're having problems using F4 then Control y will work in most cases. So thank you Valanda Girl for pointing that one out. Uh, we've also got another one from Elard8 uh, who has shared that there's a similar format to a uh, formula to the control and semicolon I used which is control and apostrophe um, and he said he thought it copied the formula from the, uh, the, the, that you previously filled in. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a little bit like that, it's actually that it copies the formula from the cell above so if I write equals uh, D4 then if I go in here and press control apostrophe then it's going to copy that D4 but if I went over here and press control apostrophe uh, it's not going to do anything because there isn't a formula there or if I went over here and did control apostrophe it's just going to copy the value of the cell above uh, so it always copies the formula from the cell above so control and apostrophe so two very useful comments there thanks a lot guys um, so that moves us on to the hacks of this episode. So we've got uh, quick number formats uh, as one of our hacks, uh, quick error handling, uh, and then a sexy little uh, interactive graph, which is very easy to set up uh, and can give you quite a lot of um, quite a lot of kudos in the office. So uh, let's get started with our first hack of the week. Right, so our first hack of the week is quick number formats, uh, and this uh, involves shortcuts on the um, on your keyboard. Uh, here I have a list of uh, the same number, and what I'm going to do is just use shortcuts to put it into different formats, uh, and it's very intuitive. So the the number line across the top. Uh, virtually all of those do a different one of your number formats. So when I say number format, I mean when you right click go to format cells, go into the number tab, and then these formats down here. Uh, so, first one I've got here is control exclamation mark. Uh, so, if you put control exclamation mark, this is going to put it uh, in number format with two decimal places. Uh, then we've got control and at, which is going to put it in time format. We've then got control and hashtag that will put it in date order. Uh, then we've then got control and the little hat thing that I have no idea what it's called. I'm sure one of you will uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, that puts it into scientific notation. Um, it's the one that you normally use for writing indices, but I have no idea what that symbol's called. Uh, and then we've got percent, which you can probably guess puts it as a percent and then dollar which will put it into your relevant currency uh, and then we've got tilde which at first doesn't look like it's going to do anything because i'm pressing it uh, but it actually puts it back into the general format so if i highlight all of them and press it you'll see it puts it all into general number format um, but doesn't have any impact on just the normal one because it's already in general number format and that is uh, your quick number formats hack of the week Right, next up guys, we have a quick way of handling errors in your formulas. Uh, and here we have an example of an error. So we've got a list of numbers and then we've got our formula which works out uh, our percentage uh, actual versus what we expected. Uh, it could be, be any data of just putting some random numbers. Uh, and as we look down, we see we've got one that is creating an error. Uh, and the error is because there is a zero in the cell. So quite a lot of people in this situation would put equals if that equals zero, blah, 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 blah. But there's actually a very quick and easy formula you can use uh, that will fix any errors that you have in your formulas very simply. And that is the if 
error formula. So in your if error formula, just start off by writing if error, open bracket, and then you type the formula that you want to calculate. You then put a comma, and it's going to ask you for a value if error. And you can put anything in here. So you could put some speech marks and put uh, none applicable. Or you could put uh, zero value. Uh, or alternatively, you can put in a number. So you can just put in zero. Uh, and if we drop this formula down, then you'll see that that error disappears straight away uh, and you can use it for any error so it's very useful for VLOOKUPs uh, it's useful for if you've got well pretty any error this will fix and override with which uh, whatever you put in the value if error option and that is our second hack of the week Right guys, so now on to our super hack of the week. Uh, and this week, our big hack is making this nifty little interactive graph. Uh, and you'll see here that I've got my graph, which just is a very simple one. You can make them a lot more complicated, obviously. Uh, but this one's simple data, so I've got a simple graph. Uh, and it just shows the number of sales they've done during the week. And now I have this drop down up here. Uh, and when I select various days from the drop down, you notice that it's updating the graph with the information from the for that specific day in the drop down. And this is incredibly easy to do. Uh, all you need to know is uh, simply how to use VLOOKUPs basically. So in here, this is the data for my graph. And if we go into my data for the graph, you'll see that I've got my X axis and then my series just links into this area here. So we have uh, our names. Uh, and that is as simple as the graph is. The graph just reference these cells. It's then these cells that then are the clever ones. So uh, they are a VLOOKUP, uh, and if you haven't watched VLOOKUPs, I'll put the link to my tutorial uh, on VLOOKUPs. Uh, uh, and they look up this cell, and then if we unhide our cells here, we've got all of our data for each of the days hidden in here, uh, and each one will... So if I select Monday from here, the VLOOKUP is just going to look at Monday in here and then fill in the relevant data for each of the people. Uh, and then we simply have our drop down. So when we select the drop down, the VLOOKUP changes, looks for a different row in this data, and then that in turn updates our graph. Uh, so very, very, very simple, uh, but it is a very useful hack to do because it means you can have loads of different potential graphs but without taking up any more space so that is it for our super hack of the week uh if you have your own hacks then please submit them in the comments below uh, and i'll give you the credit for them when i mention them in the videos uh, and if you like these tutorials please like and subscribe or pop onto our facebook page uh, and that's it for this episode thanks for listening i'll catch you next week